Kenichi Sonoda's Gunsmith Cats. This is a series that's really near and dear to my heart because it's one of the best action anime ever. It really does everything that a great action movie does, only it does it in that bizarre Japanese way of perfection. I really love it. It's about Rally Vincent and Minnie Mae Hopkins. At, ew, uh, that doesn't look good at all. I mean, they're supposed to look like that. That's the sculpt. They look half malformed. Let's not use that as an example. Rally Vincent and Minnie Mae Hopkins are bounty hunters in Chicago in the 80s, 90s-ish time, maybe? It doesn't really matter. Uh, the setting, basically, is just there to provide you with lots of action. Be that, oh, gunplay, or perhaps a little bit of driving action. Yeah. They're really keen on details in this series. Every knife, every gun, every car. If it wasn't for the fact that the heads were overly anime stylized, you'd think it was just, you know, your run-of-the-mill crime comic. Number four of the original edition is really good right now because it's a has a reprinting of the original Riding Bean story that started the entire idea. Now, Riding Bean has its own history. It was a small miniseries for Kenichi Sonoda to get his sea legs in drawing, but at the same time he also got an anime made out of it, Riding Bean. It's kind of like an alternate universe to Gunsmith Cats. Riley Vincent works with Bean Bandit, and she's still a crack shot, it's just she's very Caucasian and blonde in this edition. Either way. Speaking of DVDs, Gunsmith Cats also had their own, Bulletproof. I remember having this on VHS as well. But it's a really well done animation for what it is, especially for the time. Uh, you can see a lot more about this from Lee of Still Gaming. He did a wonderful send up for this. So, But Gunsmith Cats today are coming out in Gunsmith Cats Burst. Gunsmith Cats Burst is a little more on the technical side of things. I've noticed that you get a little bit more instruction, a little bit more of that accuracy. Right here, here's a story where Riley Vincent is telling everyone how to shoot, instead of the ways in movies. But it doesn't lose out on the racing. It doesn't lose out on any of the action. And that's how much of a beast Bean Bandit is. This guy catched an RPG and basically just threw it to the side. It's just, ah. Uh, you know, it's, it's everything that 80s action should be. There are four volumes right now of Gunsmith Cat's Burst, and of course the original revised edition. I would suggest picking that up too, so get yourself some Gunsmith Cats. Have a bombing good time.